19 people worked together to make a PowerPoint presentation look like an operating system. If that sounds utterly bonkers to you, that's because it is. But stick around, it might be interesting. The rules are this. Each person has 24 hours to contribute to the project. They can only add features or improve features, but they can't remove them. That just ensures that everybody contributes something and it doesn't get deleted by someone else. Well, people had to start off with something, so I made this. Untitled OS. Great name, that. And yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> First up on the list was Mr. Dante. They added a sign-in screen, and then they designed the basic layout for the desktop that would be preserved in later builds. They also added a notes application, but the most it could do was really resize, that's it. Next up was Blur. <laughs> Bruh said Blur, and uh, something really weird afterwards. After some debate about how much time they actually had left, they gave up. So. Beard! <laughs> anyway, Beard made a notepad application, a music player, a calculator, and an information prompt, all in a kind of basic window system, just without the movable windows. They also added a working clock and a working battery percentage calculator using Windows APIs. Next up, it was Cat21. Cat21 changed the look of the dock and added in a setup although didn't actually do anything in it, he just put it there. <laughs> Unfortunately though, he ran out of time pretty quickly and had to hand it over to the next person. Next, I am in improved the look of the dock and the sign-in screen, and also the look of the clock, but kind of broke it in the process. Next, a user called Moro introduced a glass morphism effect to the design of the interface, but left the apps a little unchanged to avoid breaking anything. Unfortunately though, they ran out of time quickly. Creeper Guy was next, and was pretty excited. He added a white effect to the startup, and replaced the window system with a much better window dragging system, redesigning the notepad application with a glass morphic theme, but leaving behind the old window system and creating a total mess. After some pretty bad memes, the next person was chosen, Lap. Unfortunately, Lap also ran out of time pretty quickly, so they quickly implemented a setup and a login system, and performed some brief yet necessary changes, like changing the presentation mode back into Kiosk. TWG took the reins next. He added a feature to change the lock screen and desktop wallpapers, and recoded the notepad app so it would work. He correctly created an ActiveX replacement system for the text boxes, but like so many others, he had to stop prematurely. The next user was Vistural A User Semich. I'm sorry, I probably butchered your name completely. But they fell asleep or something because they missed the entire thing and I chose someone else who was Eh, aka Minecraft Java. And Minecraft Java installed a lucrative array of new features. They added a snazzy new startup sound, a music player that seems to be broken, but I'm sure it was once working, and a working chat room. Gamer Zinger Burger succeeded them. They created a start screen from which can be launched different apps. And with barely any time to complete the build, they handed on to Grumpy Penguin. And I began to contemplate the possibility that 24 hours is not enough. Grumpy Penguin decided the name was now Chip Tune and branded the system accordingly. They added the calculator back in an almost matching style and brought back the information prompt, as well as fixing the text in the media app. Then shortly after, all just in PPT came along, but they had a ridiculously packed schedule, so Mimka came along. Mimka created an incorrect password prompt and added the settings app. Though it worked beautifully to change the desktop background, the change username and password prompt didn't work, and the design of these new interfaces frankly didn't match the interface at all. They also added a shutdown confirmation dialog box. This next user left the server as soon as I announced their name, and then I saw what their name actually meant. 
so it was all just in PPT's turn again. Who decided the name wasn't in fact Chip Tune, but Turing, named after Alan Turing. With very little time, they barely managed to create a themes section and set up before they had to hand over. Codex was next. Codex changed the name back from Turing to Untitled OS in the setup, but then called it Turing On on Boots. Yeah, I, I'm lost as well. Anyway, they revamped the design of setup to include a welcome page and a user agreement, and then they added a desktop loading animation. After several false starts, Alden finally made time. Alden made the settings app consistent. They also added some new widgets to the start screen although they don't really work, and improve the overall animation of the system. Vistula A user Semi decided to wake up from their coma and begin working on Build 16. They created the File Explorer app and the icon for it, but unfortunately it wasn't working. Next up was E, but they had so little time to do anything that the things that they did do, which was change the wallpaper, corrupted the presentation and it wasn't usable. Hopefully next time, they can make the changes that they wanted to make. And finally, Dev was last. Dev decided the name was now Community OS 18 and rebranded accordingly. Although kind of broke the setup, they submitted another version after their deadline, but I had to ignore it. Alright lads, now it's my turn. I started off by fixing the setup screen and startup screen. Then I coded the missing functionality in the calculator app, and I gave it some animation. I saw that the media app was in dire need of repair, so I decided to make a screen scraper for the top 100 singles on the charts website, and display it in the media app. I couldn't really download the song, so I just generated Spotify and YouTube music links for each song. As you can probably see, this took a long time to figure out, but eventually I got there. Next, I realised the chat window didn't go to front, so I fixed that. I also added an import media option to the media player. Next, I revamped the file system and made an actual working version. That's right, I made a file system and coded the file explorer in under two hours. Mm, well, nearly. I successfully created a system that displays the files in the folder by listing them in their icons, but I had not yet added the ability to navigate folders, nor make files, nor make folders, nor save files, so it's pretty much useless. And by the time I'd come up with and to do all that, 24 hours had elapsed. I had to cut it short. Remember, you can find the download to the finished product in the description below. Now, this was quite a consuming task, but if enough people want it, we can do it again, and perhaps give more time to people each time. If you want to do it again, leave a comment and join the Discord server. If there's enough demand, I'll run the competition again, and you can all enter from there. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.